Hi, my name is Paul and you're watching a video by 3dprintingstore.co.za In this video we will go over the process of how to assemble a metal art tent. This is relevant for the E3D art tent or the old metal art tent or similar art tents. Firstly, let's have a look how the art tent is assembled. This will give us an understanding of how it will function. Firstly, we have the, the heater block, which consists of the aluminium block with the thermistor and the heater cartridge mounted to it. On this side, we have the heat sink with the fan and the heat brake that screws into the heat sink. The heat brake is responsible to create a big temperature difference between the, the heater block and the, the heat sink. So if we assemble the hot end, what we want to accomplish at the end is to make sure that the nozzle and the heat brake seats flush onto each other. This will keep the plastic from creeping out between the nozzle and the, the heat brake when it's assembled in the, in the heater block. So to assemble the hot end, we'll take the, the heat sink and screw the heat brake in. We will screw this into the heater block. Just so that it goes in. We'll take the nozzle and we'll screw it in from the bottom. Now the first important thing to notice here is when we screw in the nozzle we should leave a slight gap between the flange of the nozzle and uh, the heater block. This will allow us to when we talk to make sure that the top of the nozzle mounts onto the bottom of the heat brake. So when we have a gap between the flange of the nozzle and uh, the heater block then we hold onto the heater block and we take the back of the of the heat sink and we screw it in till it's tight we can only make it hand tight it should be fine and now we know that the heat brake is touching the the nozzle and the heat brake is bottoming out at the top of the heat sink The final step is to torque the nozzle. So what we'll do is we'll <coughs> hold on onto the, the heater block to keep it stable and we will torque the nozzle a little bit. If you torque it too much it will strip the, the aluminium heater block. So be careful for that and when we are done you'll see that there's still a slight gap it's like half a millimeter gap between the flange of the nozzle and the, the heater block finally we'll connect these wires to the 12 volt supply so that whenever the the power supply of the printer is on the the cooling fan is is running as a final note something that um, might be important with some models of hot ends is you'll see that there are two grub screws on the same side where the the heater cartridge goes into the, the heater block those two grub screws push on the thread of the nozzle and the heat brake those are just to lock the the heat brake and the nozzle you can tighten them if you want to if the Hot end is tightened as we've shown just now, then it wouldn't be necessary to, to tighten those grub screws. Just remember when you undo the or want to undo the hot end uh, to check if those grub screws are, are loose before you, you do that.